Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. In today's session, we'll discuss about temporary tables in SQL Server or temp tables. So let's dive in. The temp tables work same as the physical tables, but they are created in tempdb, which is one of the system databases of SQL Server. There are two types of temp tables in SQL Server. The first one is local temp table which starts with a hash sign or a pound sign. The next one is global temp table which starts with two hash signs or two pound signs. The scope of local temp table is limited to the session in which it is created. However, the global temp tables can be accessed across other sessions. However, if the created session is closed, it will not be accessed or it will be dropped automatically. The creation and dropping of the temp tables is same as physical tables. You can create the temp table using the create statement and you can drop the table using the drop statement. Right? The max length of temp table or the local temp table is 116 characters. If you exceed this character, it will not let you create a temp table or local temp table. The main use of local temp table is to create minimal locking and it will also do a less logging. Views and functions cannot be created on top of the temp tables. However, we can create indexes on top of them. The indexes on top of temp tables makes use of statistics which will give better query plan when compared to the table variables. Right, so let's look at each and every point in SSMS. So let's dive into SSMS. Right guys, so currently I'm in SSMS. So I'll create a local temp table first and then the global temp table and we'll see what is the scope of each temp table, right? So I'm creating a temp table with hash employee, which is with only one column, which is of interdata type. I'm creating a table here. So th the table got created. Now we can check the table using this information underscore ta schema dot tables right so here is a table so let me copy paste this table name so this is the table name so it automatically suffixed this particular uh, name of the table so this is depends on the session id so we can also check this particular temp table in the using the object explorer go to the object explorer or you can press F8 which is the shortcut for the object explorer click on this button and go to the databases under which you can see the system databases in which the, there is a temp DB go to that and there is a folder called temporary tables right click there so here also you can see the uh, let me refresh this so you can see the same table name here so this suffix depends on your session id so let's see if you can create the same table in next session so this is the session 2 for local temp table let's see if you can create it so so i'm using the same name so the table got created let's see Yes, now we have two tables. So this is of the 27 is of the session one, which we have created in the first. The second one is 28, which is of session two. So which implies that the temp table, each temp, local temp table we create depends to on the session it is in which it is created it will be derived based on the session id so likewise you can create in n number of temp table with the same name however they are different so let me create one more so create table this is the statement so let me create it again i'm running the the query to check the table names See, there are now three tables which are created. 27, we have this is the first session, this is the second session, and this is the third session, session three. So each 
uh, temp table or the local temp table is different so let me add some data to this particular table so I am adding couple of records so I'm adding one and two records here in the session one in the session two I'm adding two and three records let's run this so there are two rows which are inserted and the third row in the third session we'll add three and four let's execute this sorry let's execute this yeah two rows got infected so let's run the select statement now for this select star from the hash employee which is local temp table execute that so we have in the session one this hash tbl employee we have two rows one and two in the session two we have let's query this is the session two we have two and three in the session four or the session three sorry so we have three and four the local temp table is specific to that particular session and it cannot be accessed in any other session so each local temp table is specific so it, which cannot be accessed across other sessions even though you are seeing the same temp table which is of different so if you can see here so we each temp table is created with based on the session id and it is suffixed with the numbers different numbers so this is how the the local temp table behaves and if i close this session so the scope of this particular table is gone so let me close this particular session which is of the session 3 which is ends with 29 right let me close this session and if I go to the session 2 and query the information schema for tables so we have only two tables that means the table with 29 has been dropped automatically because the session is closed so the scope of the local temp table is specific to that particular session so the session nothing but if when you are creating a query right when you are opening this one this is called a session so let's see select yet at SPID if you see this is a session right and if you query here this is one more session the right so this is one more session so this is specific to that particular session that's how the the table works we can also drop the local temp table using the drop statement drop table employee that's it so when we query the table again the table is gone so which behaves similarly as the physical table but physical table will stay forever even though you all the sessions of the SQL server are closed the same command create and drop can be used to create and drop the temp table however when the session is closed automatically the temp table will be getting deleted right so the drop can be the table can be dropped using the drop table command next we will try creating a global temp table so we will use this similar uh, query let me close the temporary tables windows let's discuss about the global temp table now so for creating a global temp table we need to add two hash signs or the pound sign so create table so the table got created we can also see this here so I think the table not got dropped in the first session let me drop the table also right let's let's run it now 
so we have a table called hash hash employee so this is a global temp table let's see if we can create in a new session similarly as we discussed in the local temp table so this is for global temp table session 2 let's see if we can create so it says there is already an object named hash hash employee in the database so it will not let you create a global temp table and let's see in the we'll go to the object explorer and right click on the temporary tables and refresh it so there is a global temp table here which is present right the next one so we can also drop the table global temp table so as soon as I drop it it can it will not be available in any of these sessions so let me create select this table select store from this table so this is the table so it says invalid object because it is being dropped here let's try creating the table again the global temp table again so I'm creating the table if I am selecting the same table that is the select star from the hash hash employee I have only created here but it can be accessed here as well in the other session as well however if I close the session in which it is created right so it is not accessible anymore it will be dropped automatically so that's how the global temp table works the only difference is like it can be accessed across other sessions until unless the created session is closed right and let's discuss what are the other points which we have discussed on the slide right so the views or functions cannot be created on top of the temp table so let me create a local temp table create employee and I'm adding two rows to that so let me create a view on top of the temp table so I'm creating create view employee underscore temp as so I'm selecting the temp table here select star from the global temp table so it says the views or functions are not allowed on temporary table the table that, that begins with hash or bounds and denote the temporary tables so which will not let you create any functions or the views on top of the temporary tables right the next one is indexes can be created on top of the temp tables let's try to create the temp table so let's see if the temp table exists here yeah the table present is present so let me create an index by using this particular statement create index the index name on hash employee table which will by default create a non clustered index so the index got created so we can also see whether the index is by enabling this estimation actual execution plan so it says when we are querying this particular temp table so select star from hash employee so it says it is making use of the index scan that is non clustered index which we have created here that is the temp employee ID so this is how the indexes will use the statistics to give a better query plan and it will have better performance when compared to the table variables right and also we said uh, the temp tables are created on temp DB so let's see if we can create uh, the same temp table in the any other database so let me use this SQL with Ravi Martha database and try creating a global temp table so I'm creating this particular table here and I'm trying to insert a couple of rows into that 
it says the database SQL with Ravi Martha ignored. Referencing the object in TempDB, which proves that the data is being stored in the TempDB, even though you are referencing it here, the database name, it will ignore since the hash signs are present. So it detects that it's a temporary table and the reference will be automatically routed to the TempDB. So that's how the temp tables are automatically detected. We just need to use the hash as sign. So no need of using any database name. And also we discussed the max length of the temp table is 116 characters. Let's create a table. So I'm creating a table. So I have taken a length of 117 and I'm trying to create the table, right? I'm executing the query. It says the object or column name starting with hash or the that means the temp table is too long. The maximum length is 116 characters, right? However, it will allow me to create a global temporary table. So it is 22 characters, 122 characters. So I'm creating the global temp table. So it still allows me to create the table select star from. this table so the the table is present right so we have reached the summary slide let's recap what we have learned in the session the temporary tables in sql server which is also called as temp tables right the first one temporary tables are similar to the physical tables however they are created in tempdb and which is one of the system databases of sql server And there are two types of uh, temp tables. One is the local temp table, which is created with hash sign. The other one is global temp table, which starts with two hash signs or the pound sign. The scope of the temp table is limited to the session in which it is created. As soon as the session is closed, the temp table is gone. The second one is the global temp table can be seen across the other sessions as well. As soon as the session in which it is created, is closed then the rest of the sessions the table is will not be present so it will it will not be accessed or it will be dropped automatically the creation and dropping of temp tables is same as physical tables except they will be they are having the prefix the hash sign right you can use the create statement to create the table and you can use the drop statement to drop the tables max length of local temp table is 116 characters the main use of the temp table is that they avoid the locking and they will do the minimal logging. The views and functions cannot be used on top of the temp tables. However, the indexes can be created. These indexes on the temp table will make use of the statistics, which gives better query plan and will have the improved performance over the table variables. That's all for today. And uh, thank you for listening. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and tap the bell icon and give a like to my video if you like it. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.